My name is James Williams Jr. This is Kung Fu Havoc number two. And I just found out on one of the shows that I watched this morning and I apparently missed it. So it was either the day show, it wasn't the view, it wasn't the real because the real was a rerun and Steve Wilkos was a rerun. But apparently, Wonder Woman opens up this weekend. And um, it's specifically going to be... For all female audiences. I need to speak to you. Come alone. What is this? I'm looking for a Remy to Mayo. Any idea where I might find her? So, my question to you guys fair or not fair? She's the one who kept insisting she's innocent. So. She is innocent. Let me, um, the I know y'all can hear Mass Effect over Remy this. I'll move this to oh, that. Well, as you know. Anyway. Don't get smart, Pathfinder. <laughs> Sorry. Last Giggle. time I saw your girl, she was talking with Johan and his crew. Nasty bunch. Sorry. I'll send you the nav points. Fair or not fair? Woman to woman movie preview or premiere for women only. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna knock this down and straight out of the park because I have sisters. And as much as I don't have a problem empowering women, Sarah Ryder, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go out on the limb because I've heard this by many women, and all you women who are watching this, you can confirm or deny this shit while I move you guys off my ugly face, so you guys can watch Sarah Ryder go on her epic adventure here as Pathfinder. Where the hell's the um, destination here? Oh, you know, things out here about the SOS. But anyway, so apparently, I need to say this because, as far as I know, and by most women accounts, a woman, y'all basically are your own worst enemies. All right, I hate putting it out there in that fashion, but it is the truth. As much as black people only hate black people more than anyone else, women tend to hate other women more than anyone else. There have been videos posted from women hating other women and stuff. I'm not one to pass judgment because it's not my place to pass judgment. And to be honest and fair, I truthfully don't really give a flying fuck. That's the way I see it. I hate men who want to take my woman from me, you know, and women hate women who want to take their man from them. So that kind of all um, evens out, I guess. So if only women are allowed to go see this movie, you know, um, how am I supposed to take that? Personally, I don't give a damn because, you know, women are going to be women. And it's up to women to, um, you know, either strengthen themselves or destroy themselves, you know. And the whole thing on that is, if you're not going to um, empower your own, the only thing you're doing is depowering. And in doing such a thing, you only put more women in the element of, uh, well... If I'm not going to look out for my own kind or my own gender, why would anybody else? Now, again, I'm not woman bashing. I'm just making a statement. You know, and you women, like I said, you can contest this or whatever. I'm not going to say that it's not fair to let women be the first women to watch the Wonder Woman movie. I'm, I'm buying that shit, you know. I would like to be the guy that's working that night to watch all those beautiful women come in to watch a woman dance around in a skirt, hooker boots, and bracelets, because that's going to be awesome. Now, I'm not saying that because I'm not a Wonder Woman fan, because believe me, I am, and nobody's been a better Wonder Woman than Linda Carter. So hopefully the new girl will do just as good as she did in um, Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice. Now, I'm not knocking her, because it's really the only thing I've ever seen her in, because I'm trying to get into the movie business, not watch movies. All right, I'm trying to make them. So as far as I'm concerned, you know, 
I'm pretty sure she's gonna do a damn good job. I've seen the previews, and you know, as as a as a movie maker, independent filmmaker, whatever you wanna call me, I know firsthand that sometimes previews uh, they only show you the good shit, you no, know? but you can't knock the movie until you see it. Now, as long as they don't say that we're only going to let women in for the first three nights of the weekend and then guys you have to work your way around until you can go see it like the next weekend, that's when I'm going to be a little bit pissed. Now, if, if I can go see it, like say they have the, the preview, it's Thursday, which is like tomorrow night. So they say like tomorrow night and Friday night, women only, unless you work at the theater, can go see the Wonder Woman film. I'm actually down with that. But if I can't go see it by Friday, and I can't go see it Saturday, and I can't go see it Sunday because for those four days, it's for women only, then I'm going to be pissed off. All right? Because if a man pulls some shit like that on, well, women can't see it. Hey, look, I'm trying to go on a date, and I can't take my woman to go see the movie that I want to see. That's not going to float for me because if, if she can't see it, then I'm not going to go see it just because I love my woman. Now... A woman might not think like that. A woman might be like, well, secretly, I'm a lesbian. And what my boyfriend doesn't know can't hurt him. So I'm going to see this Wonder Woman preview to pick up another chick. And those things do happen, just in case you guys know. You know. And I'm not having a Deadpool moment. I'm just, like, staying in fact. Sometimes that shit does happen. And, um, you know, hey, I, if my girlfriend picks up another girl and brings her home, I don't have to participate. I just want to watch. Because you can learn a lot from lesbians. Anyway, I'm pretty sure that you guys are going to want to um, see the last bit of this Mass Effect thing. So I'm going to give you that while I contemplate on Wonder Woman being a preview for just women only. Uh, am I mad about it? Nah, not really. Because I'm going to see it. It just might not be the night I want to see it. Which is not cool. But you know what? Life sucks. Then you deal with it. And sometimes you get to fuck people up. I'm James Wish Jr. It's Couple Heaven number two. Enjoy the rest of this Mass Effect video. Because Sarah Ryder is the shit. Let's see, you want to say this young lady? By the way, if you guys haven't played the game, then you probably shouldn't be watching this video. Just due to the simple fact that I'm about to die. Drop some spoilers. And in case you haven't noticed, all both of my crew members are chicks. No. As my dad and I, when my dad was alive, I used to play Mass Effect, like the trilogy all the time. He's like, Jimmy, why do you always make your shepherd female? And I told him, I said, well, one, the actress, um, Jennifer Hill, no offense to Mark. You know, he's a good actor and everything. But her delivery as Shepard actually sounds better to me. I actually can feel what she says. Where when I'm male Shepard, the only time I really felt anything that he said was in fucking, um, in, um, I'm in the wrong building for one, was in game two. Because that's like no my favorite game. No credits. I'm not looking for trouble. Wait. See, you don't look like one of them. You're not here to kill me, are you? In, um, I don't want trouble either. I'm from the Nexus. In the third game, you know, I, you I, I kind of really, my now game glitched, and I couldn't get my guy back from game pocket. two to go to game three, so that pretty much sucked right there. Stay safe out here. And um, yeah, so safe. being mad as hell about that, you know, I um kept playing Femship, and Femship seemed to um just have that genetic feeling of actually what I would do if I was a woman and how I would handle the situation. Because as a man and a martial artist, I would just go in and just fuck everybody up. Uh, that's just my personal preference. Because sometimes um, you can solve things a little bit better with your fists than with your mouth. I'm not that much of a diplomat. I would probably have made a great Alex Ryder. But you know. Don't think they're gonna invite us in for coffee. Oh, 
but as far as like the whole thing, um, my reasoning is completely sexual in nature, and I'm about to show you. When I was shepherd, I did a lot of this running and stuff, especially once I became like like an infantrator, or um, a vanguard like I am now. And most of the time, I spent so much time looking at Shepard's backside. I was like, you know what? I'm not gay. I'm not going to be looking at a dude's ass the entire game. Where I can look at Sarah's ass or Femme Shepard's ass and actually be thoroughly okay with it. But I'm not going to be looking at male Shepard or Scott Ryder's ass if I can help it. Some things game-wise, you kind of can't help. That's totally off from wherever the hell she was shooting at. Cora sounds like she needs backup. Oh, dear. Nice this be fair. Oh, I wasn't done. Eh, suicide dive. Good for you. Find Remy. Yeah, that guy's dead as shit. Ooh, a frying pan. Detecting traces of human flesh and blood. Sam, are you saying they were eating people? Yes, Pathfinder. Oh, I'm gonna be sick. Are you all right? They were going to... So three women just me. saved one woman, killed a whole bunch of I dudes know. who were eating people, and that's pretty much they the gist of it. brought a group of us here from the slums, said we'd be safe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video I while you're thinking about one left. Um, if I should be mad about only women getting to see Wonder Woman. You and survived. my answer to that is no. Matters. I think that they I'm should be fine with the first here. two I nights of... I paid my protection um, fee. I know. Being the outcast who wrongly kicked you out of Kadara Port. But he sent me. On that second Are they night, going to let me back if in? we can't get in by Friday, the least, Grayson, I'm going I to found be Remy. We need a pickup. upset. Because for those who don't know, sometimes uh, Thank you movie so previews come much. out the day before the day that they um, have the movie. So the movie's scheduled to release on Friday. They have midnight showings on Thursday. And if you don't know that, or you've never here. worked in a the movie theater before, which would be why you wouldn't know that. Well, I used to work in a movie theater. I got fired by my um by my own cognates of not being able to wash my mouth at the appropriate time. Yeah, it wasn't my day off. I had some back issues before I joined the army. The army actually whooped me into shape. I'm in better shape now than I was before I was in the army. Well, at least I used to be when I could actually work out. But what happened was, you know, um, I was at work. And my boss's daughter, and forgive me for the body shaming that's going to come out my mouth, she was a tad bit overweight. And um, like I said, I had some back issues. And um, she made me do something that really wasn't in my job description. And so, like a day or so after that, I was hanging up some stuff on the marquee. And I have to talk about her in a very undissatisfying light. In other words, I dug my grave with a silver spoon. And um, she come like bopping around the corner, stuff I got from a and she had heard it. She me. heard everything she I said, really was and she Hope said, was "Well, you have two choices. Everything. I can, um, could I can fire you now, or you can put in your two weeks." And I said, "Well, you gonna be stuck with me for two fucking weeks? Cause I'll be damned if I'm gonna quit." And so, for two weeks, she had to deal with me. She didn't like it, but she had to deal with me. And technically, she really couldn't have fired me because freedom of speech is not against the law. However, she could have got me for slander, except for it really wasn't slander because it was a thousand percent the truth. The girl was overweight, and the other part might have been slander because she's not a female dog, but that was the acronym that I used in speaking to her. So, I kind of asked for that firing. Remy made it back safe. I promise to take care of her protection fees for the next few months. I don't really, um... Make that indefinitely. But... 
she was almost eaten alive. I don't really um, condone stuff that I had did or said, but I did say it, so I will own it. I called her a big fat bitch, and she was big and fat, but she was by no means a bitch. That was just, um, I hadn't grown up enough. I was in my early 20s where disrespecting women and calling them bitches was still part of my game. You know, I just, um, I didn't really give a flying shit, you know. And then um, the thing that changed my perspective was I had a flashback to when I was in high school. And in high school, I worked at Keller's, and this, this, the cook there, good friend of mine, I don't know if he's still alive or not, and I do miss him if he's still alive. Congratulations for being alive, and if you're not alive, then I honor you because you were one of the best friends I ever had as a teenager, even though you were grown. And you could sing your ass off, and you should have became a singer. But America's Got Talent and stuff like that didn't exist back then. But if they did, he sung as good as the group Levert. So, anyway, moving forward. His name was Daryl, by the way. And his last name was something that started with a T that I can't everybody? really pronounce. I told but, um, him to get out of my sight. He um made me go home and watch this movie called The Watermelon Man. After watching The Watermelon Man, off. I had decided that maybe, just maybe, I should stop calling women bitches and whores and stuff without tangible proof. And the thing about that is, you know, I have sisters, and back then, that's when those um, maxi pads and tampon commercials were always coming on, and, you know, it kind of went like this, ain't nobody's business, ain't nobody's business, but your own. And then the Summer's Eve commercials would always be coming on and stuff, about the mom and the daughter walking down the beach discussing um, vaginal indiscrepancies and stuff. So, I'm um, the learning as I grow up that those are not the things right that you would probably stars. talk about and then I talk to like bold, my second mother and, and she would tell me you know you wouldn't want anybody to say me. stuff like this to your daughter you wouldn't want your daughter or your mother me. or myself to be called a bitch so you know like I, um, I said, I'm an outsider not sure if I want to get involved. I, um, if you want an initiative, I decided, Kodora, you know, you'll be there. to stop using the B I'm word in references to, to women this. as best I can. Hey, so a woman would have to make me right pretty here. mad for me to call Maybe her out of her location. name. Other than that, I do my damnedest to respect women in every sense of the word, if at all possible. You know, because without women, men wouldn't be here. And without men, women wouldn't be here. Because you can't have one without the other. So you kind of have to have sex to make one or the other. And whichever child you have, you must raise them both with love and respect no matter what. If you have only daughters, you love your daughters and you raise them right and you teach them that it's okay to have sex, but don't get knocked up by every fucking dick that you decide to ride. If you have sons, you teach them to not knock up every vagina sandwich that they eat. I'm James Williams. This is coming from Havoc number two. I'm sure I just made everybody watching this video incredibly uncomfortable how I went from Wonder Woman to vaginal sandwiches. But anyway, I think I just stepped in it. So, Kathy Griffith, you aren't the only one who has fallen from grace today. This is Comfort Havoc number two. <laughs> BC in you.